He's funny looking too. <laughs> That's a coyote for sure. Is he still going? Yeah. What are you doing? Here, keep recording video. Oh, no, I'm gonna get him. What do you mean you're gonna get him? I don't know. It's gonna scare him. He's a little poopy. We just let it go. What? Like, we don't call anyone? No, it's a coyote. It's not hurting anybody. Which way did it go? There it, it is. Oh my gosh. Are you recording? It's growling! He's bloody too. He's attacking my car. Oh my god. He's probably rabid. Dad. Yeah, we got a call. Here. You're still recording, right? Tonight, a warning for families in Huntersville. A coyote was caught on camera in a neighborhood over the weekend. In one shot, the coyote can be seen snarling at bystanders before trying to attack the car. Tonight, WBTV's Alex Giles spoke with the man who recorded the video and a wildlife expert. Alex, uh, usually coyotes want to run from folks. Uh, do we know what was wrong with this animal? Uh, Paul, the wildlife experts aren't sure. They say it could be one of a few things. Animal could have been injured. It could be rabid. Either way, it's off the streets tonight. Homes line Gibson Park Drive in Huntersville, but this residential intersection isn't too far from a creek and a greenway. So you hear all kinds of things, owls, hawks, we have raccoons. None of those animals have ever come face to face with John Schroeder until now. Driving his daughter home from Bible study, they noticed a creature in the night right near someone's house. There was a coyote uh, tearing at the uh, fence, actually biting it, trying to dig its way in. They started recording. He's funny looking too. The four legged, funny looking animal starts moving toward the family car. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just didn't look normal. He had kind of a floppy ear and head to the side. He says he started to turn the vehicle around, assuming the animal was leaving. He was wrong. It's growling. He's bloody too. The coyote approaches and bites the front bumper. The marks are still visible on the car. The animal would eventually saunter off yeah, into the darkness. If we had been walking a dog or just out, we would have been definitely attacked by it. He called 911. Animal control came and found the coyote in the area. It has been euthanized. Wildlife experts say the Schroeder family did the right thing. If you see one acting a little bit, you know, odd or suspicious, uh, you know, running up the cars, running up the houses, that's definitely not normal. And the uh, best thing to do is either contact us, a uh, wildlife officer, or you can contact CMPD Animal Control. The body of that coyote has been sent off to a lab for testing. They expect to get results within a few days. They do this in case anybody comes forward within the next week or so and says maybe they were hurt by the coyote or a pet was hurt. This way, they'll know if that animal was sick or diseased. Reporting live in Huntersville, Alex Giles, WBTV, on your side. Alex.